Have you thought about taking the channel train from London to Paris, vice versa, or even to other parts of the European continent? Today we're going to be talking about my experience on the Eurostar channel from London to Paris, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know about taking the channel is that there are three different tiers of bookings that you can do. You can book a standard seat, standard premiere, or business premiere. The main difference between these categories are meals, locations, roominess of seats and space. For our journey, I decided to book the standard premiere, which was about 130 euros per person because I like the idea since it was an early morning train that we could get a light breakfast on board, not have to worry about that, plus have uh, better seating accommodations for my dad who has some accessibility issues. So that is the route that we decided to go. So I'm going to show you some video clips that I took and kind of walk you through what our experience was like. So this was an early morning. We had a 6 a.m. train. This is roughly look, what it looked like about 90 minutes prior. They recommend 60 minutes. I went with 90 minutes. If you do have accessibility issues, there is a separate check-in area just like there is for business premiere. This is what the waiting area looks like. There's not a whole lot of seating. There is a cafe where you can get something to eat. And then there are elevators and escalators that take you up to the trains. There are lots of helpful people that will help you find the right car to make sure you're getting in. This is a quick glance of what the seats look like. But before I go any further, if you like saving money on travel and love all the best tips and tricks, check out my free guide down below. Now, let's look at the train. So this is the area where we boarded roughly right outside of where our car is. You'll see all of the luggage racks are in here. There's a lot of space, but I'm sure during peak season, keep in mind this was November, this is very limited. I'm going to show you what the bathroom area looks like as well and a little bit more in depth on what these shelves look like. They fit a lot of suitcases and a lot of big ones as well. So over here is where the restroom is. Quick video because it really wasn't super clean. Somebody had kind of done some gross things in there. And then this is what it looks like walking into our cabin. There are cafes on this train, but keep in mind we're going to be getting breakfast, which you'll see. I really enjoyed these tables because they were adjustable. So if you are a bigger person or if you have some mobility issues, it's nice that they can fold and go away. This is what the light breakfast looks like. It was so cute. It's not fancy, but the yogurt was great. The little pastry was great. They even walked around after to see if we wanted additional coffee. The only downside really to the channel was the internet. I did not find that to be great, but before we knew it, we were already in Paris and it was only about two hours and 20 minutes. After having both taken the channel to Paris and then taking a flight back to London to fly home from London from the UK, I would do the channel 100% over flying, especially if you're doing something that close. Europe has very great train systems. The Eurostar is definitely no exception to this. It's clean, it's fast, the service was great. Compared to some of the headaches that we dealt with flying out of Paris back to London, this was so much smoother. Plus you're kind of wasting less time because you're not having to go through as much security, get to you know Charles de Gaulle three hours ahead of time versus an hour or so. Um, so this is really a no-brainer. I would do it again, hands down. We really enjoyed standard premiere. I don't quite see cost-wise where the business premiere would be that much more worth it because there's times where it's like double, if not triple, comparing to standard premiere pricing. Um, for two and a half hours, I don't know if it's quite worth it for me, but if for, it is for you, you can... Um, like I said, I would highly do that. Let me know down in the comments section what you think. If you have any questions and if you need help planning your next trip, just let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.